Hello, I'm David Barrett, Executive Director of Network for Animals, and I'm proud to tell you that our team is on the ground helping to feed and rescue abandoned animals victims of the horrendous war in Ukraine. Pet owners have had to flee their homes, leaving behind their beloved animals. Forced on the streets that are often literally in flames, the animals are terrified, thirsty and hungry, and all too often wounded. We are finding ways to channel food to countless thousands of abandoned animals who face death from bombs, shells and bullets. Yesterday, we managed to get 1.3 tons of food into hungry tummies. Today, we managed two tons and tomorrow we're going to do even better. We are proud to work with people like Oksana Zerba, who runs a shelter overflowing with 300 dogs. The shelter is close to an airfield that is being bombed constantly. We also provide food to a shelter in Kherson where heavy fighting is taking place. Whenever there is a lull in the fighting, their team rushes out to feed and rescue as many animals as they can. It is truly terrifying to know that the situation is getting worse every hour as Russian tanks roll into Ukrainian towns and aircraft rain death from the skies. Truthfully, we don't know how much longer we can keep the supply lines open, which makes what I'm about to say even more important. Please donate generously to Network for Animals now while there's still a chance to get food to areas where animals desperately need it and for whom we are their only hope. The war is not going to be over soon and animals are going to need more and more help. I promise we will fight as hard for the animals as the Ukrainians fight for their homeland. Bombs and bullets regardless. Please help by donating as much as you possibly can today. Finally, our sincerest condolences to the family of Alexander Polshuk. Alexandra was an animal rescuer who refused to leave her dogs. So when the Russians bombed her house, she and all the animals died. We have no words, just our sincerest sympathy.